I hate walking around like this. I get insecure by my body. But she was like, it is just too hot to care. I'm gonna do some strength, listen to a podcast, slow strength. I'm in my luteal phase. <laughs> They're gonna love that. Wait, I need coffee. Okay, this could be yours. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our community. We are. Hello, each... everyone. Welcome back to our community. We're a. Bitch. <laughs> we are each going for a run today. I'm going on a four mile run. Villa Bean. Yvonne, why don't you tell them what you put in your coffee? Vanilla bean ghee. Tell them why. Why? You do for healthy this. fats. Because I fast. And it makes me feel good. It helps me go poo poo. And I feel like it gives me good energy. And you also, for that reason? MCT oil. I probably don't need both, but I like it. It's supposed to be good for you. And your brain. For your brain. It's supposed to be good for your brain. I do a little squirt. I don't go I don't go too much on the on the oil because I'm using two, right? So I don't need that much of one. Ready? Oh, wait. Then I, I use this, guys. Oh, no, it's dying. Acid kicking black coffee alkalizer. Helps reduce that acid in your coffee. The battery just looked at Ethan and said, battery exhausted. <laughs> Didn't realize I was that much. Ethan goes, exhausted? Don't you think that's all dramatic? <laughs> okay, dry scoop time. We also take armor every morning. And I take this every morning in my water. Your turn. For hydration and electrolytes. I don't like to have element in the morning because it's a little sweet for me. It's a bit much on my stomach. Let's have our coffee together while Ethan tries to fix the Wi-Fi. This TikToker, Instagrammer I follow that I love, her account is Runs With Mal, and she made an Instagram story and like a sports bra and shorts and was like, this is my least comfortable outfit. Like I hate walking around like this. I get insecure by my body. It's not enjoyable and I really relate to that. I'm not someone who likes to like run around and flaunt like little booty shorts and a sports bra. But she was like, it is just too hot to care. Like we can not care right now you just gotta wear it I think that was exactly what I needed to hear it has been brutally hot here in New York City and I'm starting to train for a marathon on Monday and I'm just gonna need to go outside half naked and not give a shit so that's my new era is it's too hot to care but I do need new sets because I like this set but the shorts are a little long they're not as flattering I actually like them shorter which is funny because of what I just said but any sets that you recommend comment them down below I'm gonna I think get some on Amazon I saw a few good ones for running it's 7 a.m. gonna try to get out the door at 7 30 go for a four mile run and then I have a lot to do today it's not even funny and I am going to the doctor to check on my tick bite that I have too. And I'm getting my period. I can't imagine on your period or really right before is the worst with bloating, which is actually right about now. I can't imagine having to wear tiny shorts, feeling so fatigued and heavy from getting your period. I just, ugh, sounds awful. All right, chugging my electrolyte water really fast. Not chugging, because then I get bloated and sloshy. Looks like it's gonna rain. I gotta get out there, it's 7.30. Just finishing some of my liquids, but I realize I have not trained in the summer heat. Like I've trained for two half marathons in a row, but neither really started in the summer. My running journey started last summer, but I wasn't like full on training yet. And I definitely wasn't like getting new running clothes yet. I need like running clothes. Like I only have one pair of Amazon running shorts. Isn't that kind of crazy to believe? That just goes to show you, you don't need to go crazy purchasing stuff when you start your running journey, unless it's gonna make you excited and like motivated. But my dresser is like busting out the seams, so I never really got new clothes. I just kind of made it work. I only have one pair of legit running shorts and then I have like a few biker shorts like this. Um, these are great, they're all access because they have a pocket. I just don't, they're not as flattering when they're longer. I actually, weirdly enough, like them shorter these days. But I don't like a running belt. I don't like a running thing here. For my phone, I like tight shorts with a pocket where my phone's not gonna move. When I have loose running shorts, the phone flails around, but some of them have a pocket here for your phone, which I don't mind. But I don't like to have an extra belt or anything on me. Anyway, probably do its own video, a summer marathon training haul. Please comment down below your favorite running brands or specific shorts or specific sports bras that you like to run in. I'm a big fan of like Amazon finds, so if there's anything on Amazon that's like less expensive, I've been seeing a lot of New Balance and I haven't tried their clothes yet. Ooh. Oh, those trace minerals are a little salty. Let's go for a four mile run.
quickly, I gotta run to a doctor's appointment and then we're gonna go to Ethan's WeWork so that we have focused work time for the rest of the day and we did not meal prep food. So I'm gonna quickly make a smoothie and a random concoction of Trader Joe's turkey meatballs plate. I don't know, Greek yogurt. I'm gonna just figure something out. Let's quickly make a smoothie for both me and Ethan. I'm gonna quickly make myself actually two eggs, but let's make the smoothie first. Okay, I'm distracted. Cashew milk, water, crap ton of spinach, flood of greens. That was stupid, it went everywhere. Some berries, chia seeds, flax, one tablespoon per person. Now we just need protein powder and peanut butter. But we have some maca powder too. Realizing that we're out of protein powder, so that's great. I have two eggs going for me to eat really quick and then this black truffle pepper jack cheese from Trader Joe's, it's new. You guys, it's so good. I'm gonna quickly microwave some turkey meatballs from Trader Joe's. They're in the freezer section. They're so good and easy. And I'm gonna just bring those to the WeWork with this smoothie. I don't even know. Just random snacks. We have chomps. <laughs> it's so good. Salt, pepper, paprika, and cayenne. I'm gonna chow it down real quick. Yeah. So when you get up in the morning, are you like, okay, today's... All right, I just whipped this together so fast. Arugula, turkey meatballs, Parmesan, walnuts, avocado, and I drizzled olive oil, sea salt, and balsamic. And that's what I'm bringing into the office. Good morning. We had a very slow morning. It is like 9.20 in the morning. By Friday, you're kind of over it. <laughs> you're tired. I don't know. So it's 9.30. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to do some strength, listen to a podcast, slow strength. I'm in my luteal phase. I'm just going to do what I got to do and let's go. phase let me tell you I was not feeling that today I barely worked out to be honest with you I maybe did like two sets and not to my fullest at all but instead of being upset about it the perspective is more like all right at least I got something in I do usually rest on Sundays and I have a community class that I'm putting on with Mile High Run Club on Sunday so I'm not actually missing a workout day that could be bad it could be my first day of my period but we'll we'll see how this all goes anyway I'm not going to get a demo by Ascape it's an AI generated massage machine so let's go check it out okay I didn't realize that I was gonna have to change they gave me leggings and a shirt hopefully they fit I'm supposed to tuck it in and then grab him when I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, he said tuck it in. Now I have to go grab him. <laughs> Why is this part always so awkward? Like in acupuncture and stuff when you have to change and then be like, I'm ready. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Arms up. Oh, there's a, okay. Sorry. Like almost better than a person. I'm just working for the rest of the day. That massage machine was out of control. It took knots out of my back. It was actually cool because you didn't have to like tell a human, like less pressure, more pressure, you could control it yourself. I'm gonna do a full wellness and filter video with them, so stay tuned for that. And I'm in a cafe, so it's kind of loud, but thank you for spending two mornings with me. One is more of my like normal, productive 5.45 a.m. routine. The next is luteal phase, Friday morning, slow morning routine. So just thought it would be a good idea to show you a realistic two days of two different morning routines. Most of the time I'm doing 5.45 a.m. ones, but Friday's luteal phase, sometimes you just gotta sleep in. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. If you're new, subscribe for more realistic wellness in New York City, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for that massage machine video for Wellness Unfiltered, where I try out workout experiences, wellness experiences around New York City for my series Wellness Unfiltered on here. And again, subscribe, I love you. Mwah.